our universe is so vast that thinking of other life forms to exist somewhere out there is as real as discovering new worlds. We have already traveled across our solar system, reaching Mars, Venus, Titan and Europa, but it is just impossible to suppress our inner feeling that somewhere out there must be a world, a planet, so similar to Earth we could simply live on. The good news is, we found some pretty promising options. So, let's embark on a little journey through the cosmos and explore the most unique exoplanets. I promise to you, they aren't dry and boring. In fact, these are super habitable worlds, bigger and better suited for life than Earth. The first world we're going to visit will take us 600 light years away from home, deep into constellation of Cygnus. This is Kepler-22b, a super-Earth planet that is considered one of the most intriguing planets out there. As we gaze through our telescopes, a perfect orbit within the habitable zone of its star comes up right away, as well as the possibility that this planet is completely covered with a super-ocean. I know, just like the Miller's planet in the famous Interstellar. The star in this system is about 97% the size of our Sun, and the planet itself is only 2.4 times bigger than Earth. Unfortunately, the distance is so vast that we cannot observe its atmosphere or composition with great accuracy. But by being a true water world, we can only imagine what kinds of life may have evolved in the depth of this massive ocean planet. I am certain that if humans ever traveled through the galaxy to reach Kepler-22b, the discoveries we made will surpass our wildest imaginations. Moving deeper into the constellation of Cygnus, we are now 1400 light years away from Earth, near Kepler-452b. This planet is often called an Earth 2.0, and it shares so many similarities to Earth that it's kinda scary. For starters, it's located in the Goldilocks zone of its star system. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right. That means that liquid water could potentially exist on its surface, making it a prime candidate for harboring life. Astronomers calling it a super-Earth because it's 50% bigger than Earth, but it's also significantly heavier. In fact, its mass is estimated to be five times greater than Earth's. If you would have ever walked on its surface, gravity would feel like you are carrying your twin brother on your shoulders. Plus, your own body would feel much heavier. Its year lasts 385 Earth days, which means that each month would last exactly 32 days and the planet's inhabitants would likely to experience weather seasons but it's obviously just a wild assumption. What really sets Kepler-452b apart is its star. It is a sun-like star, but slightly larger, brighter, and much older. G-type stars like this have a tendency to expand near the end of its life cycle, which would eventually lead for Kepler-452b to receive much more radiation. Rising temperatures will quickly heat up the planet, causing any life forms to extinct and turn this planet to be empty and dry. Now let's dive into Alpha Centauri, the world with three interconnected systems and the star called Proxima Centauri is of particular interest to us. It is so close that if Elon Musk made his starship capable of reaching the speed of light, we could have easily traveled there in slightly more than four years. Within Proxima Centauri system, there is a Proxima Centauri B planet that have the possibility of being a little oasis in space with who knows what kind of creatures living there. It orbits well within the habitable zone, but the system's star is what we call a red dwarf. Here's where all the problems begin. Usually, red dwarfs are much smaller and cooler than our Sun. That might sound like a good thing, but it also means that any planets orbiting it would be bombarded by intense radiation and solar flares. Proxima Centauri b is 1.3 times the size of Earth, but it's much closer to its star, 
which means it's likely tidally locked. This leads to the main problem there is. One side always faces the star with scorching hot temperatures, while the other is always in freezing cold darkness. We could consider a tiny strip of land in between those zones to be habitable, but it's unlikely to be as stable as we need for life to exist. So, while Proxima Centauri b is an exciting discovery and a step towards finding another Earth-like planet, it's also a reminder that the universe is a complicated and often inhospitable place. While Proxima Centauri b will be considered by us as a flyby, I would like to continue our journey to another red dwarf star located nearly 40 light years away from home. TRAPPIST-1 system has a great potential to be a viable ecosystem. Believe it or not, this system has seven planets jammed so tightly together around the star that we can easily fit the whole TRAPPIST-1 system within Mercury's orbit of the Sun. Fourth planet in the system marked as TRAPPIST-1e is considered a super-Earth because of very similar aspects to the rest of the exoplanets we discovered. It is roughly the same size as Earth, orbits right within the habitable zone, but shares the same problem of red dwarf proximity effect. Despite the tidal lock to the star, the planet is much older than Earth, and I mean 3 billion years older. Under perfect conditions and such great time, a single strip of land around the planet can be considered to be just right for life to thrive. But the most mesmerizing fact about living on such planet would be probably the sky above you. Because all seven planets located so close to each other, they would be seen in the sky even during the day. And who knows, maybe you will be able to even travel between the planets in the system like you're traveling here on Earth to a different country. We are going to end this journey by visiting a very lonely planet in constellation of Cetus, which is also located approximately 40 light years away from Earth. As far as we know, this planet is the only planet that orbits around its star that could cause potential problems. It's a rocky planet like Earth, with a dense iron core, but it orbits a very common kind of star for Milky Way galaxy. 70% of all systems consist of M-type red dwarf stars, just like LHS 1140b. Horrible name, I know. M-type stars can have lifespans of trillions of years, meaning that they may be able to host habitable planets for much longer time than larger stars like our Sun. But LHS 1140b is more than just a potentially habitable planet. Despite of its perfect location inside the star's habitable zone, it's a window into the mysteries of our universe. For example, the planet orbits its star every 25 days, and it may have an atmosphere that could moderate its surface temperature and provide the right conditions for life to exist. Imagine now that each weather season on this planet will last only for six days. Would you enjoy a six-day summer followed by the same fast transition into a winter? I guess this planet's pace would be way faster than life in New York City. I hope this little journey through time and space has inspired you to continue exploring the wonders of the universe. Always ask yourself the right questions like, are we alone in the universe? What other wonders might be waiting for us out there? My name is Georgie, and I will continue to search for them by staying here on Earth.